Well, today we uh, uh, woke up uh, early in the morning. The plan was uh, that uh, we would go to Mahabalipuram uh, in the morning, uh, have darshan, and probably go to the the beach uh, to you know swim. Uh, but uh, I woke up late, and therefore the whole plan got delayed. Uh, nevertheless, uh, we got ready in the A AVIT uh, itself, and then we went for darshan. So. Uh, by even 8:30, 8, 8, it was really uh, kind of bright sunlight, and it was already becoming quite warm. Uh, uh, Dr. Adil uh, organized everything for us, and it was nice uh, gesture from him to help us. In fact, his knowledge about the temple and history was amazing. Uh, I did not know so much that he he knew about uh, the the Indian culture in the temple. Well, after that, uh, our next program was in uh, uh, AM Jain College, and, uh, and Dr. Venkat uh, was our uh, coordinator. He was a principal, you know, such a gentleman. By the way, some he sent actually somebody to AVIT to guide us and uh, bring not AVIT. Actually, in between, he sent somebody, and uh, somehow we really got stuck in some narrow lanes and one-sided lane. And the person who actually took us, uh, who came to bring us to the college himself did not know the streets and uh, I was also you know a bit of uh, angry uh, and he was actually teacher from the college so uh, we went late and almost one and a half hour late the program was uh, everybody was waiting for us and uh, uh, as soon as I went down and I told uh, the principal that you know who is the person who was actually guiding us and he said uh, he said something beautiful, you know, and in fact, on the stage also, when I complained yeah, that it took so much time, he said, don't worry, when you start speaking, everything will be operated. And, you know, what a wisdom uh, he had, what a kindness uh, he had. So that was amazing. By the way, the program was huge, and it was a big hall, and some about maybe 800, 900 students were there. In fact, there were a lot of noise, and uh, last time when I went to Bangalore for the talk in Roti Club, um, my throat was uh, really gone completely and I somehow recovered but this program when I started talking you know really by the end of the talk again my throat was completely choked I was not able to speak at some point of time uh, and then I had to sip water and then somehow conclude my talk so this continuous talking 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 from last uh, particularly eight days really had it all on my my throat well, uh, after the program, uh, it completed AV, uh, at uh, AMJ in college. They organized a beautiful uh, lunch uh, that we had together. Of course, he signed uh, you know, all the action that we normally ask. But there's another interesting program today, 22nd April, by the way, is also uh, is considered the Earth Day. And we have decided to launch our Energy Suraj Club on the Earth Day. Uh, our chief guest today was... Uh, you know, Sonam Mangshivji, you know, very famous uh, person and he has been doing wonderful work for the the climate and green energy technology. It was an online program. So we parked the bus somewhere in the AM college and then <coughs> we conducted this program online and uh, in the program not only the chief guest was there but there were about uh, eight energy Suraj clubs that were registered and each of them had opportunity to speak uh, uh, about why they are forming the energy Suraj club. Uh, I believe and I call Energy Suraj Club as a action node of Energy Suraj movement. So if Energy Suraj has to become a movement, Energy Suraj Club should become a successful uh, uh, kind of initiative. So I really hope that this club that is launched today will have a big, big impact in the future. And after that, uh, we drew back uh, to the MCM, where, which was kind of our night home. I mean, our bus parking was always there. And in between, Prakash you know, stopped somewhere to buy his mobile phone. And uh, then suddenly, uh, one of the colleagues who was with me at the Rotary, the Anna Durai, you know, he was an auto driver. Uh, he stopped by the bus. In fact, we, we, there was a plan that he would come. But somehow, when he was passing, he actually saw the bus and he came in. Uh, he, Anna Durai is a very famous auto driver in Chennai. You know why? Because his auto is unique. You know, He keeps... Uh, all kind of newspapers, magazines, but that is not enough. He keeps tablets and you know, he keeps iPad. Uh, he keeps, uh, you know, um, 
uh, MacBook Pro so that his customer actually can use these devices. Uh, not only that, he had uh, a chocolate box, uh, people can just have chocolate you know, for the free. Uh, then he had uh, the small refrigerator, he would keep you know some drinks and water also inside, so if somebody wants. So, and he was such a kind, down to earth person. He, he was actually invited to many corporates, by many, many corporates to you know get lessons and how to serve customers. So he did everything for all the customers. In fact, he gives free rides to the uh, you know teachers, scientists, and doctors. He was an amazing man. We actually offered him tea inside the bus. We had tea together. We had a photograph together, and uh, sent him off. And then we went to the college. Today is our last day in uh, in Chennai, as far as the programs are concerned, because uh, now I'm going to take some break uh, for other meetings. So. Tomorrow I'm going to go to Mumbai for review meetings of Energy Suraj Foundation, what is happening. And then there's a plan to go to Bhopal and then to Delhi. So there are a lot of back-to-back -back meetings in different cities. So my bus will be parked here itself in MCC, but I will be going out to you know, take part in all those meetings. So what a wonderful week it was at Chennai. It was really amazing. People wholeheartedly supported us. Uh, they actually took membership. They contributed financially amazing and you know, I never expected uh, such a warm welcome in Chennai. So thank you very much, stay tuned and uh, I'll keep bringing what is happening in Mumbai, Bhopal and Delhi. Stay tuned.